the 2009 Jeep Liberty. Going to replace front brake pads and rotors, calipers, okay? First you need to do is get yourself a pan, get yourself some needle nose vice grips, small ones, adjust it so they, they're about like that, not fully closed. Go and pinch the line. You don't want to smash and kill the line. You just want to restrict the flow. Get a 15 millimeter socket. Remove the banjo bolt on the back of the caliper. That's a 15 millimeter. This is what a banjo bolt looks like. It's hollow in the middle with a hole on the side. That's a banjo bolt. Let the caliper drain its fluid and the, the line drain whatever is left inside there. And if it's still kind of dripping a little bit from the line, tighten your, your uh, vice grips up a little bit. Then you want to remove your caliper. That's a 13 millimeter. You want to remove the caliper bolts. There's two of them. One here. And one here, okay? Now that you got those out, now you need a decent sized screwdriver. And you wanna pry the caliper off a little bit, like a so. And grab onto it and hold on so it doesn't fall on the floor. All right. Okay, the caliper is off. Now you want to remove your caliper bracket. It's held on by two mounting bolts. And those are a 21 or a 13 sixteenths. And on the back side, there's one right here. And there's another one right about here. Okay? So you want to remove them. Those are in there pretty good. Okay, got the caliper bracket off. Next you need to do is get the rotor off. If the rotor's bonded to the hub, rust it on there. Then you need to smack it. I'm replacing the rotor so I can smack it here. If I'm not replacing the rotors, I gotta smack it between the studs. Okay, and be careful that when you do hit it with a hammer that it doesn't fall off and land on your foot or cut your brake hose or your, I mean your air hose, okay? All right, now you need to clean the hub up and get all the rust off of here, get it nice and shiny. Try not to grind it down. You just wanna shine it up, buff it up, get all the rust off and make it shiny so there's no high and low spots. Okay, and then once it gets cleaned up, then you need to put some anesthes on it. Okay, got the hub all cleaned up, so now you can put some anesthes on it. Light film of it. The reason why you want this cleaned up, don't know high and low spots, because if you got high spots, a little chunk of rust, that causes the rotor to go like that. And then in turn goes against your, your piston and your caliper, and then you'll feel it in your brake pedal. Okay, so... Good quality brake job starts with here. All right. All right, and my light film of uh, NFCs, it's okay. Next you need to do is put your rotor on. And before you put your rotor on, you need to wash it with soap and water, Windex, some degreaser, but do not use brake clean. Okay, my rotor's on. I use a pair of vice grips to hold it on there. So it doesn't fall off and land on my foot or my air hose. Next would be my caliper bracket. If you're not using, uh, if you're not replacing the calipers, you're gonna reuse your old calipers and your brackets. Make sure this area here is clean. If it's not clean, it's gonna have rust in it and rust will swell up and cause your brake pads to stick inside the bracket. So I painted them, okay? Also, if you're not replacing them, make sure your caliper slide pins are free and put some sill glide on the pins and push them back in. Do not pack inside here with sill glide because then you won't be able to push your pin back in all the way, okay? Okay. Put your hardware clips in there, abundant clips. See, that's the spring side. So you put the spring side down first, and then you push it over, and you latch that side down, okay? So now you got them in there. Now you can put the bracket up there with the bolts. Snug the bolts up, 
and then tighten those big bolts to 80 foot pounds. All right, here's the pads. Usually this indicator, squeak indicator goes on the bottom towards the rotation, but on these, it doesn't matter. It's got, they're on the same spot. So, stick them in there, push them together. What you wanna do is, all right, what you wanna do is put them in there kind of on an angle. Get it in there, same thing with the top. Get them in there, and then twist them straight, okay? That's how you put them in there. Next, you wanna grab your caliper, the correct caliper. Make sure the bleeder is on the top, on the right side, okay? So you just wanna push it on there. And you gotta push your pins in, slide pins in. So you can put the caliper all the way in there. Now you can put your bolts in. Snug up your bolts and then you want to torque them to 20 to 25 foot pounds. Okay, if you replace if you replace the calipers, that means you gotta put your banjo bolt back in. Make sure you put your new copper washers on your banjo bolt. One on the inside, one on the outside. And get it started inside the back of the caliper and snug it up. And then you want to torque it down to like, I have to look it up. I think it's like 10 foot pounds. All right. If you replace your calipers, you need to replace your banjo bolt washers. Okay. So put the new ones on there. Nice shiny copper ones. In, one goes on the inside, one goes on the outside. And start them in the back of the caliper, and they're in a goes in a special groove. Like you'll see, it's like notched out for the block of it because it's square and it'll fit into a flat spot. So you snug them up and tighten them up to 23 foot pounds. All right. After you got your line on, you want to take off your vice grips and then open up your bleeder. And let it gravity bleed, you know. Open up your cap off your master cylinder and let the fluid just gravity bleed through the system. And when you see no more air bubbles coming out, you want to close the bleeder and you want to tap on the caliper with your hammer a little bit to vibrate it. Open the bleeder up, let it bleed some more, and then snug it up. And you've done both sides of the brakes. You go inside the car. And you want to pump your brake pedal a couple of times to get a good firm pedal. Come out here, back out. Open your bleeder up. Let it bleed some more so no more air bubbles are coming out. Snug it up. Go back inside the vehicle. Start the vehicle. Pump your brake pedal. Make sure the pedal's hard. Come back out here. Open the bleeder up. And there should be no more bubbles. Okay, if there's no more bubbles, then you're done. Then you can put your tires on, and you want to torque your lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds, and you're all set. And then you got to go underneath your hood, and you want to top off your fluid, and then put your reservoir cap back on it. And also, before you put your vehicle in drive, make sure you have a good brake pedal, okay? And that's how you replace your front brake pads and rotors and calipers if i helped you with this video that's great maybe you can help me by subscribing if you already did subscribe i appreciate it thank you